Okay, so this is a video uh, uh, for Matt Beavers, who's been asking for a vlog, and I'm going to dedicate this video to Alan Mountjoy. I was flicking on your channel, mate. Uh, it's been a while since I've been on your channel, to be honest, but I, I noticed that you uh, made a cup of tea, and I, do you know what? I clicked on it. I thought, that's actually a good idea for a video. Uh, a silly video, as you said, I agree, and I'm going to do the same now. But uh, it was an idea, so... <laughs> um, I'm going to make a few modifications, though. Uh, I noticed you overfilled your kettle a bit. <laughs> I thought that was quite funny, but I'm just going to go for a litre. So I had a, I had one earlier, so it should be quite warm in there. Obviously, uh, first you've got to choose the mug. Oh, choices, choices. We've got old stop and step, the each way nudger, the gambler's prayer. I don't know if anyone remembers that on a very old video on the channel. Uh, Sonic, Panda, uh, nice car there, and a Space Invaders one. You know what, because of his recent primal hit, we'll go for old stop and step, I think. Right, so, we have the cup. Uh, choice of tea, I do mix my brands quite a lot. It's either Tetley or Yorkshire or something, but I've gone with this Tesco Gold Tea, rich and bright. Hand selected, apparently. Uh, tea was one of the first things our founder, Jack Cohen, you know, that is very loud, actually. I'm going to jump it until the kettle is boiled, and then I'll carry on reading this. Okay, kettle's boiling. This is also a channel update, so stay tuned. Yeah, so Alan, I think you overfilled your kettle a bit. Easily done, I suppose, but uh, yeah, I'll probably recommend putting a bit less in next time. This kettle needs a good descale. Uh, yeah, it looks a bit grim, but it's clean enough, so... Yeah, the whole kitchen needs a bit of a thorough clean, really, but, I mean, it'll do, it'll do for this video. And one thing I like about this kettle, I've had this ages since I moved in here, and it never, you know, some kettles, when they're, when they're boiled, they keep going until you switch them off, and uh, this one just always seems to switch off. So, oh, we need the tea bag first, so sorry. Yep, hand-selected. Tea was one of the first things our founder, Jack Cohen, sold on his market stall back in 1924. All these years later, we still use the same care and attention for our full body tea. Our expert taster, Tim Clifton, and our tea masters select and taste the most vibrant leaves from Africa, India, Sri Lanka, and all over the world. So you always get the perfect cup. Well, wouldn't you know it. <clears throat> tea bag goes in. Boiled water next. Now, there's the big debate in it. Milk before the water, or milk after. Now, I noticed you put your milk in first, Alan. Personally, from what I've read, obviously it's personal preference, I like my tea quite strong. So I always put the milk in after. Reason being, especially if you're using full fat, I don't myself, I, I can't drink full fat milk and tea. I, I have semi-skimmed, otherwise I just think it's too, uh, I don't like the taste. But there is a theory that the, uh, the fat blocks the uh, pores of the uh, tea bag, if you like. So I always put my milk in after. So just give it a little stir. Always uh, pour the water onto the tea bag. Gets a little air into the bag, and then you can kind of squish it for that, uh, you know, richness, if you like. Um, now, I did notice you had four sugars, which I find absolutely insane, Alan. Please be careful, because that is a lot of sugar, mate. Um, my recommendation would be honey. Uh, and this is how much I put in, literally, honestly, this is all you need, mate. You'll notice, this is all that's going in. You'll notice when you give up the sugar and just have it with either a little bit of honey or on its own, you won't want the sugar in the end. You'll find it too sweet. Yeah, four sugars is quite a lot. You said you cut it down from six, which is <laughs> is mad. But uh, sorry about the bang, bang. Personal preference, I guess. So yeah, I can't have full fat milk myself. I always go for the semi skimmed. I used to get skimmed, but apparently they add a lot of sugar into that. So I just get semi skimmed now. Good for cereal. Uh, I just find the full fat is too much. Personally, you know. So dash of milk. <sighs> Give it a good stir, and you have that lovely, rich, golden colour. 
Like I said, I like my tea quite strong. Look at that, that is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Quite liked your hand sanitizer as well, that's pretty cool. Uh, I could do one of them myself. I've just got the old, uh, you know, medics thing loose. Anyway, give it a good stir. And as you done, And there we have it. That's a hyper cup of tea. How I make my tea. <laughs> so yeah, cheers Alan for that idea. And this is a good opportunity for me to update you on the fridge. Not a lot in there really. Uh, freezer, we've got some stuff in here. And as for the channel, sorry that I haven't uploaded a video for nearly a month now. There will be some uploads soon. I've lost a lot of money this year. As a couple of people have guessed, uh, more than I've ever lost in a year actually. It's, I added up the log today and let's say it's not great, I'm a little bit embarrassed, but hey ho, it's not the end of the world. But uh, for anyone who's watching this now, it uh, might be a little stream tonight, just a little one, 400. So uh, feel free to follow me on Twitch. Hyper Casino on Twitch, H-Y-P-A Casino, all one word. Look forward to anyone that's on there. Friday night, hope you have a good weekend, guys. This was a little update. A cup of tea. I'm now going to enjoy this. And, uh, yep, this video is dedicated to Alan Mountjoy and Matt Beavis. And, uh, hopefully I'll do some more vlogs soon. This was just a silly little idea. So thank you for watching. Does anyone remember the Snake Eyes attempt?